Um, this is the Hayes Arts Council. Uh, this originally uh, was a uh, harness shop built in 1891. And in 1905, it became a collar shop uh, for a few years before turning into a harness shop again. Um, and then in 1911, it became a grocery store and a produce store. And I, this building is actually kind of near and dear to my heart because when I was in grad school, I had to write a 30 page paper over, over a local business in Hayes. And this is the one I chose. And so I got to learn this building inside and out. Um, it's very, very interesting. If you ever have a chance and Brenda and Peter is kind enough, you should ask her about some of the cool artifacts in the basement. Um, so in the 1920s, it became the newspaper publishing company as indicated on the facade. Uh, and it was uh, originally had the newspaper, the Ellis County News, which was founded by a John S. Bird. And then Frank Mox partnered with Bird in 1922 and he changed the name, name to the Hayes Daily News on November 11th of 1929. Interesting thing about Frank Mox is his father, Simon, was the first mayor of Hayes City. So he had a lot of roots in this community. Um, Moss died in 1958 due to complications from a stroke a year prior, um, but his wife Leota actually um, kept the business alive and she's one of my favorite ladies that I've ever learned about regarding Hayes history um, because I read an article saying that she was a really scandalous lady because she wore overalls to town um, instead of putting on a skirt or a dress. Um, so that, that classified her as scandalous I guess. Uh, she also was extremely involved in her husband's business. Uh, she was the bookkeeper. She made sure that everyone paid on time. She all but shook people down to make sure that they received their dues. And she also kept made sure that the employees were paid even in the hard times in the 30s. So she was a really incredible lady. Um, his, and she actually sold the paper to the Harrison Enterprise of Hutchison in 1969. Um, and the paper didn't change locations to where it's located now until 1970. Um, so this has actually been a three different locations in the 70s. It was a pizza place, a furniture store, and then I believe a shoe store. Um, and it's kind of divided up as such, you can kind of tell. And in my research, if you go into the building, uh, there's different walls that have windows in them facing other walls. So that just kind of leads to the knowledge that this was added on um, and then another interesting thing that I discovered in the basement, uh, just a little side note, is uh, there are still pinups of girls in the basement. And originally when in the 1920s when this was a publishing company, it was mainly men downstairs doing working with the ink and the publishing and the printing. And so they would put up pictures of you know the pinup girls. And then women started coming in in the 30s and they didn't like the fact that there was pinups on the walls. Instead, so instead of just taking down the pinups, the guys just moved them up higher, thinking that the ladies wouldn't see these women. Um, but they're still up there today and they're pretty neat. So, and now it's the Hayes Arts Council. So we'll